The Hoopty Doo Musical Review is back. We're reviewing opening show of Disney World's only dinner show at Fort Wilderness Resort. Hoopty Doo Musical Review is a dinner show located here at Pioneer Hall. It is all you care to enjoy. There is famous strawberry shortcake, ribs, and fried chicken. And there's even all you care to enjoy included... Maybe not all you care to enjoy. You have to be responsible. But alcohol. You can get beer, wine. And sangria. And sangria. So Hoop Did You works a little bit differently since it is technically a show. You do head over here to the information and tickets booth to buy admission. Um, it is opening day. It's very busy. We're mid-show. That's why you don't see crowds out here. But it is it is definitely a very, very hot ticket. Um, and they were using over here this little booth as chicken. Hoop to do review since it's a dinner show is priced by seat rather than menu items. Everyone's eating the same things, but there are seats that are more expensive than others. There are three zones. The first zone is going to be the main floor. The second zone is going to be sort of the back balcony. And then the third is going to be the second floor balcony. The prices range from $66 to $74 for adults and $39 to $44 for ages three to nine. A nice little addition to your evening at Hoop to do is that there is this bar out here. It's got um, just, you know, some some canned beers as well as sodas and waters and those little Copa Vino wine things. Um, it's open for the whole show and uh, into the... I'm sorry, I got excited because look, the cast is going in. Back to, back to the bar. The cast member here did tell us that it is... Uh, open for all the shows. It's open before the shows and for inter intermissions. Not really intermission. You're probably eating, but you know, you could come out here if you wanted to. <laughs> all right, we're inside Pioneer Hall. There are chandeliers. Yes. I've never been in here before. Well, well, maybe I have, but I don't have it in memory. Maybe I was a child. I have definitely been in here many yeah. times. How are you feeling? I feel great. I actually feel like they opened a time capsule because we've been going to Disney World so much for the last yeah. two years, but not to Pioneer Mall. This yeah. is wild. Everybody's very excited in here, you can tell. I'm very excited. I have heard, obviously, amazing things about Hootie Doo, so I'm super excited to see it for myself. We've got an amazing table of food, which I will show you. And uh, it's also all you care to enjoy, which is, you know, a you know big old what, bonus. You know what Kathy Lee Gifford said about the show? What did she say? That show's so good, it could be on Broadway. Oh! Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, my my so sorry. name is coming in to present a hand clapping, foot stomping show called the Hootie Doo Review. Yeah. Yes. The Pioneer Hall players are arriving also, shortly. there's a band playing the banjo. Yeah. I'm obsessed with the banjo. Me too, I love the banjo. It's like the best instrument ever. It's like the Muppet of instruments. It is like the Muppet of instruments. Woo! Let's hear it for the Pioneer Hall! So when we got to the table, you already have a couple of things set out and ready for you. And we've got double the stuff because Brie loves plant-based. Hi, I don't know if you've heard. I love that you're holding a salad. The, the, the timing was great. You can see that all of Breed Love's items have little allergy sticks in them so that he knows. Never um, even even plant-based butter, which is awesome for the cornbread. It's very delicious. You should try it. But we have here their house-made cornbread. Um, there is a house salad, the hoop salad as well, which is this back here. Um, you can see it's a pretty classic salad. And then it has the signature hoop vinaigrette on top with white cheddar. Yum. And then right over here, we actually have something new. This is the creamy coleslaw. Um, I love coleslaw, so I'm super pumped that there is new coleslaw. All right, first more speed round before they start singing again. How was the show so far for you? Perfect. Absolutely I love amazing. It. How's your salad, your plant-based salad? Delicious. Tangy, plant-based, light, fresh, magic. The non-plant-based salad is amazing. The hoop vinaigrette is awesome. It's so good. It's so tangy. I love the giant cucumbers in it. Very, very good. I'm going to try out the coleslaw now. We love for the plant-based only 
has salad for his three course and cornbread. There's an allergy plant based cornbread. Cornbread good? The allergy cornbread is like a dessert almost. It's very sweet. Ooh. I love it. I just tried the coleslaw, the creamy coleslaw, which is new. Very exciting. I would literally eat a bucket full of that. I'm a coleslaw person. Obviously, if you're not a coleslaw person, you're not going to like it, but I would eat a bucket of that coleslaw. It's so good. And I'm going to try the regular cornbread. Is this really sweet? That's pretty sweet. It's definitely sweet cornbread, which is my Here's preferred a, kind of cornbread. Try a little piece of the allergy. Is mine sweeter? Slightly. This is a little sweeter and a little less moist, but both are very good. I wouldn't know that was allergy if I hadn't just eaten the not allergy. So this here is the Giddy Up. It is available for an extra charge. It's basically an Arnold Palmer with Tito's vodka, which uh, I'm not complaining and perfect for a meal like this. Cheers. Oh, super refreshing, so good. Don't worry, Cowboy Hat is still here. I just don't want to block any views, you know, with my super tall hat. As a mac and cheese enthusiast, I can say that this does pass. It's a house-made cheese sauce, elbow macaroni, and then they crumble up the cornbread and put it on top. Are you kidding? It's amazing. Mashed potatoes. Super smooth, salty, buttery, delicious. And then beans. Very good baked beans. If it tastes like baked beans, there's not that much variance in baked beans. There's definitely some meat in there, tons of great flavor. I'm a fan. Now the show moves really fast, so a few food items we didn't get to talk about. For me, that was the meats. They are our ribs, and there's fried chicken. The ribs were pretty good. I would say they were not as good as Boma's, but better than the ones at um, Whispering Canyon, just down the way. So pretty good ribs. Um, the barbecue sauce was a pretty basic barbecue sauce. I'm a barbecue sauce purist. North Carolina vinegar base is my my jam, and it was not that, but it was still it was still really good. All right, this is a plant-based sausage that has sort of a sweet marinara sauce on top of it, which is interesting for him to do, but I love it. It's so good. I think the show's starting up again, but I have to say, our table mate is not vegan and told me that he thinks that the barbecue jackfruit is the best thing, like, period, plant-based or not, on the table. I haven't tried it yet. Really good. I do love jackfruit. I love the barbecue jackfruit burger over at Regal Eagle. So this has sort of that same feel. If you're a fan of that burger, definitely you'll love this. And um, ooh, let me give the the plant-based baked beans a try. Very good. The green beans are great. strawberry shortcake in the past. This is my first time as a vegan eating it, but trying the, the plant-based, the allergy version. Let's see. So not only is it plant-based, it's also gluten-free. I can tell that it's gluten-free based on the texture. Um, that's not a bad thing. It just, um, it tastes like, you know, like an Aaron McKenna's cupcake or something like that. Um, still very, the flavors are delicious. Um, I would just say I can tell from the texture that it's vegan and gluten-free. So, at least they have it for you. Mm -hmm. Quincy, are you eating the whole family size portion of strawberry shortcake by yourself? You're a vegan. They said I could. Okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm definitely. Did some fall in your purse? No <laughs> way. chicken 
perfectly breaded, beautifully fried, just tons of meat on that chicken leg that I had. Oh, it was so good. Uh, the chicken was definitely the meat winner for me. The standout dish for me or the standout offering was the plant-based sausage that had that really interesting kind of sweet marinara sauce. What was your favorite thing you ate? I really love the sausage, the plant-based sausage, sausage, and I really ultimately ended up eating the entire um, plant-based allergy strawberry shortcake. Oh yeah. The, the whipped cream on that was like wildly good. I don't whipped know what cream. kind of plant-based whipped cream that was, but I loved it. The fruit, the strawberry kind of compote was amazing. Um, I wish that the cake itself was not gluten-free. Gluten-free. It, it had that texture of gluten-free vegan things that I don't personally love, but over all the dessert, all the elements together, it, you know, I finished it. I, I was obsessed with it. My low, I'm going to have to say that, you know, the cauliflower was not very flavorful and and um it was just veggies yeah it wasn't very well it, it, it was well cooked but not well done gotcha. and i would like it to be uh a, cooked a little more it was a little al dente for me an and al, an al dente call it. and un, uh, under seasoned and yeah. it, i ate one and i was like i this is That's i don't plenty yeah um, I am going to say my high had to have been the strawberry shortcake. I was not exaggerating when I said I would eat that whole thing, and I'm not exaggerating when I say I did finish it off. Yeah. So, you know, you, you really, we were at the end shoveling strawberry shortcake. They're like trying to clean up and bring the next group in, and we're like, hang on. No, we have to enjoy please, this. Please, I'm so please sorry. This enjoy is this. strawberry shortcake. Um, and yeah. then Milo was probably going to be, I liked everything. Probably the ribs were the low for me. And now to be fair, I'm not a ribs person. They were fine ribs. They weren't excellent. They were fine ribs. I'm not a ribs person. Everything else was really good. That new mac and cheese was amazing. Mm. It's definitely Disney mac and cheese, so it's not going to be like your grandma's mac and cheese. How does it compare to Gas Gasparilla? Mm -hmm. It's very similar. Really? But with the cornbread crumbs. Ooh. I would tie them. Okay. I would tie them. Whoa. Yeah, it's, it's very good. It's not as good cheese sauce, but the cornbread crumbs bring it up. That's, nice. how, I, that's how I'd land with it. Hello, it's Quincy from the future again. I am here with a very special guest. We literally just got done at dinner. Um, this is Fry Bucket. Hello, Fry Bucket. She is a producer for All Ears YouTube, and um, she's here because she actually has some on hands-on experience with Hoopty Doo. Uh, you were a can can dancer, correct? Yes, I was. Can you tell me about that experience? What was it like? Was it life changing? It was very life changing, actually. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, so that you heard it here first, folks. The Can Can Dancer was life changing. The show at Hoopty Doo um, was amazing. There have been some changes, but there's still a lot of audience participation. Um, they still have the whole Davy Crockett sequence, which is where the Can Can Dancer happens. And uh, they pull up four audience members, do audience participation. The lighting has been improved is another big change, but mostly the show still its old good self. And I had a great time. And it's been a couple days now, and I'm still thinking about it. So, you know, okay. We're, bye from Fry Bucket and Quincy from the future. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And now go watch where we ate everything in Frontierland. See you there.